everyone extreme crypto the ibot the newest spot trading bot i'm in trading cardano against bitcoin but after going deeper into this bot i've realized there is a few strategies from aggressive to less aggressive and let's get into them remember this is not financial advice just me sharing my experiences the first strategy short term and aggressive this bot seems to be trading very aggressive and for that reason in a short term strategy you have to put all your bitcoin available at once but there could be a downside to this because all of your funds could have been used up within one day meaning if the market goes bearish and the bot keeps on buying you have a lot of sell orders and if you run out of funds and the market keeps on going bearish there might be a time period where you need to wait for the market to come back it can take minutes or it can take days and for this to happen you need a market that's very volatile the more market volatility there is on this aggressive term the more profits you'll make but this is a risky one meaning you could run out of funds and devalue but you haven't lost because you're sitting with asset which could bring you massive gains fast profits or long waits depending of the direction of the market as you can see on the screenshot on this chart it bought up and put in the sell orders and there wasn't enough funds available to catch more buy orders as the market went down and now it's a wait for the market to come back up and trigger this sell orders the midterm trades you can use a percentage of your funds and use a strategy or an indication for example, I'm looking at a midterm strategy where if the market drops a certain percentage, I put a certain amount of Bitcoin available for the bot to use. If the market drops another certain percentage, I put more Bitcoin available. It's more or less dedicating funds to dollar cost average down. This means your funds will last longer and severe dips you'll be able to catch it here's example what i've done i got in on the first green line and now if the market drops to the second green line i'll put more funds available for it to trigger and trade again if it keeps on dripping i'll put more funds available so i separate my funds into different sections to make sure I'm able to stay in the market if we do see a downside. Then a long term strategy. You can use your fund to dollar cost average weekly, meaning you're adding funds each week. Choose a day, Monday for instance. Each Monday you allocate a few dollars towards the trading bot. And that's what it has to use for that week. If it sells in these profits, it's going to make more trades. But this gives the average guy with small amounts the opportunity to stay in the market and keep on building. Mm -hmm. Keeping funds in your stable coins and just converting it to Bitcoin when you need it. This is a safer option and you'll stay and use the bot the entire time. So you got three options. The aggressive one where you give you all your funds, but you need to be willing to wait if the market goes the wrong direction. The midterm option where you use indications when and where to get in. Or the long term option where you decide you're adding funds each week to dollar cost average down. This is the three scenarios I'll be looking at and using for myself personally. So look at the iBot 
it's a great opportunity and make sure to get the link from the person who have sent you this video if you don't have someone the link is in the description and hit that like and subscribe button have a great one